This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to the Donaldson Chapel Baptist Church. We are live streaming at Donaldson Chapel Baptist Church VR. Get your praise on. Get ready to praise the Lord on this 2020 Mother's Day. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Give honor to God. Good morning, Dallas and Chapel. Morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Amen. 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 As this is Mother's Day, we'd like to, before we pray this morning, just say a little bit about, about mothers and, and the love they give. Isaiah 66 and 13 says, As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Isaiah 49 and 15, Can a mother forget her nursing child? Proverbs 31 and 28, Her children shall bless her. We know that mothers do a lot for their children, from comforting to nursing to, to, to being a doctor, to being a teacher, to being all those things. And for those things, we greatly appreciate the things that mothers do. On this Mother's Day, we may be socially distant and isolated, but we won't forget the love of our mother. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come right now before you as humble as we know how, Lord. Lord, we thank you this day for the mother. We thank you for those who are serving as mothers, Lord. We thank you for those who have stepped in to provide for children. Lord, we thank you this morning. We ask that you bless. We ask that you touch. This may be a tough time. Mothers may be alone. But we, we want you to let them know that they are loved, they are appreciated. We thank you, Lord. Lord, now as we as we come, we thank the those who are standing on the front line, Lord. We we we, we thank those hospital workers, the doctors, the nurses, Lord, those those who go out each day to, to battle this thing we call corona. Lord, we, we ask right now to touch right now. Lord, we ask for strength. We ask for strength. For those who are going through for the sick, Lord. Lord, we ask a special prayer for the bereaved. We know that some of our church have lost your loved ones, Lord. We ask that you touch right now. They'll know, Lord, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy indeed comes in the morning. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing. Lord, we ask that you. Continue to bless God's and shout in a way that you know she stands in you. This we ask in Jesus' name.
uh, for your giving. And so we ask her that you continue uh, to give, uh, and the methods you can give is the first. Uh, you can always bring uh, your offering, your donation by the church at 2501 Gracie Street. The drop box uh, is in uh, the front of the church by the steps. Uh, it is safe and secure, 2501 Gracie Street, uh, when you're out and, and about. Also, you can mail it to that address. Uh, the zip code is 70802. And you can send by Cash App. Cash App, and you send it uh, by your cell phone to Donald Sign Donaldson, D O N A L D S O N, 2501. Uh, again, Dollar Sign Donaldson, 2501. And that uh, information is on our uh, Facebook page, Donaldson Chapel Baptist Church BR. So again, we ask uh, that you, you give because so the Lord continue to bless us. We want to deal with this, but we want to come back stronger and continue to do the things that the Lord has called us to do for the last 107 years. So God bless you and to those who are viewing, if you are being blessed by this uh uh, service of uh, live streaming service uh, on Sunday mornings. You too can uh, give at, at those sites that we name. So again, we say a uh, happy Mother's Day to all, all, all to, to mothers. And as we always say, uh, the mother has been the cornerstone uh, in our, our communities uh, to keep us uh, to keep our hands in the Lord's hand. So again. Amen. Good morning. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out here. A few announcements. I want to announce that Sister Raven Percy received a master's degree in social work uh, recently. And also we know that we have had a number of graduates, high school and college graduates, and you can mail your notices to the church. You can call Pastor Gibson or Reverend Jones and let them know and at a later date, we'll announce about a uh, method and time when we will do the recognitions for our, for our graduates. And we want to congratulate you for all your hard work. Uh, on the last week, uh, people were getting texts. Uh, and if you did not receive a text from the church, you can contact uh, the pastor, Pastor Gibson, or call the church. The number that are on Facebook, you can call those numbers. We're trying to contact our members so that we can get, uh, make sure that we have active phone numbers um, and way to contact our members and keep up with everyone. So if you did not get a text, we ask that you reach out to us, Pastor Gibson, or some or one of those numbers on the Facebook page. Also, we are in the process of getting our website um, design and the designer has been selected and we are turning over information to the, um, the web designer and we thank all of those who made suggestions for a uh, web design. Also your census, your census, fill out the information, turn in uh, the census information so that you can be counted. It's important for us to do that because uh, so much uh, rides on uh, the census and I will be counting the money and dollars that are being distributed, all of that rides on the census. So uh, be counted, turn it in. They're not going to use 
use this information against you, but it will help you. Also, on next Sunday is Communion Sunday, the Lord's Supper on next Sunday. So we ask that everyone will tune in and be uh, prepared to participate in the Lord's Supper on next Sunday. Scripture reading. Our scripture reading will come from Song of Songs, chapter 8. Song of Songs, chapter 8, verses 6 and 7. Song of Songs, chapter 8, verses 6. Six and seven. We encourage you to uh, find the scripture and read along with us. We'll be reading from the King James Version. Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. And it reads Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which has a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man will give all the substance of his house for love, it will utterly be content. Amen. May God bless the reading and hearing of his word.
thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us uh, this magnificent praise team and musicians who have been uh, faithful and dedicated along with our media ministry. And Lord, we thank you for them. And we thank you for keeping us uh, safe. Lord, we thank you for keeping us sane. Lord, we thank you for keeping us clothed in our right mind through this very difficult uh, period. Amen. We want to thank Reverend Jones and uh, Reverend Parker for their country, uh, contributions. Uh, we do like to say that uh, we want you to continue to pray for uh, the family of Deacon Donald Jackson and Maxine uh, Richard. Two stalwart uh, servant soldiers uh, who went home to the uh, uh, Lord uh, this week, and we had their services uh, Monday and Saturday, respectively. And we want you to continue to pray for those families. We want to let you know on a, on a sad note. I remember Jerry Payne lost her granddaughter earlier this uh, week in a tragic uh, automobile accident. And she, uh, her services were, were held uh, during the, the week. So let us pray for Sister Payne. And on good news, uh, Deacon Ernest, uh, Ernest Brown is at home, amen. amen. Ernest Brown is at home, a uh, faithful member, uh, Deacon Sunday School teacher. And we have this brother, uh, uh, Brother Brown, so we ask you that you continue to keep him uh, in prayer. We're going to read for your hearing again uh, from Song of Songs. In some of your Bibles, it may be the Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 8, verses 6 and 7, to the Song of Songs, uh, chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. Place me like a steel over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death, is jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it will be utterly scorned. Amen. Oh God, on this uh, day, we ask that you touch us and be with us. Look upon us. We thank you for all that you have done for us and in all that you are doing for us. Now, Lord, in these uncertain times, we ask that you bring a certainty to our spirit uh, that stir up our faith so that in worship experiences that we will bow down and lift up our hands unto you. Uh, Lord, teach us and show us what we need to do in these times. Uh, th those who are unable to be in your house on this morning, we ask that you to, wherever they are in their cars, living room, beds, or bedrooms, uh, that you reach beyond uh, the, the, the barriers of, of, of not being in intimate contact with others. But we thank you for the growth in virtual services, the Lord let us grow and continue to receive your word. Begin with me, take my nothing, take my nothingness and create a, a, a powerful uh, instrument for you. Lord, forgive me of uh, my sins and allow my words to become your words and your words fall on receptive ears and receptive hearts in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we want to talk to you on this morning on the topic of a matchless love. A matchless love. And from that uh, song of songs, as I said, in some translations it may be the song of Solomon, uh, the song of songs, uh, chapter 8, verses 6 and 7. A matchless love. Um, recently, uh, I, I read a, a portion of a book, uh, an essay out of a book uh, <clears throat> by a man named uh, Felipe Wombe. 
Uh, and his father was from the continent of Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, and his mother was African American. Uh, and he never did get an opportunity to meet his father's family uh, in Congo. And uh, on that attempt, he was 24 years old, was he able to travel with his father uh, to uh, where his father was reared. And prior to going that, he, the only thing he knew of his grandmother was an old picture uh, where she, you will see this very stately, dignified uh, woman in a group picture. That's all he knew of her. However, when he arrived there, uh, uh, he was 24 years old. And he, he saw this woman crawling on her hands and knees to an outhouse. Because they didn't have running water on the inside of the house or where she was living with her daughter. And she crawled up to the porch where they were sitting. And she made her way into uh, her bedroom. And that's where he was introduced uh, to her. And she, first of all, she could not uh, speak English. Uh, and he could not speak her language. So his father had to translate. And the father, uh, she said, well, oh, I know who you are. I've never seen you, but I, I knew who you were. And uh, so uh, at some point, he had purchased a scarf and some material, and he gave it to her as a gift. She took off the old scarf that she had, and she giggling and smiling and wrapped it around her, her, her head. And then she uh, told him, and it was translated, you go find a good wife, and so our family can be uh, continued. And he said he was shocked that she was not, that time had taken his toll, but he was shocked that she was not the picture of the woman he had imagined. He was barred by the inability to be able to come, to converse with her. But he said the joy in her voice and the spark in her eyes, he knew she loved him and he loved her. And my brothers and sisters, uh, though Time uh, can impact it, though distance can impact it. There can be barriers such as language and communication, but a mother's love is a matchless love. A mother's love is a matchless love. A, a, a mother's love is a marvelous expression of the goodness of God. Oh, you need to hear that. A mother's love is a marvelous expression of the goodness of God. God is creator. God is the source of love. Uh, the creator created both male and female uh, in the divine image. And the creator breathed the breath of life both into male and female. Well, I, need, I know you need to hear what I'm saying. God is in both, uh, the divine is in both uh, male and female. But it is obvious to me, brothers and sisters, that the Lord placed some extra love in the creative institution of motherhood. Uh, yes, yes, the Lord did. Mothers exist, they exhibit an exceptional goodness. Who are we talking about? Uh, mother's uh, love is a marvelous expression of God's goodness, but a mother's love uh, exhibits an exceptional, an exceptional goodness because mother love, uh, uh, in my opinion, goes far beyond. It, it, is, it, is, it is the height of human love, a, a love that creates care. Concern, creativity, and cohesive.
to the co cohesiveness in our community, a love that is the cornerstone of the family, a love that is the height of human love. Oh, oh yes. Uh, a mother's uh, love is a marvelous expression of the goodness of God. And here in our text, church, here in our, our, our text, uh, from the book, the wisdom book, the Song of Songs, and, and many of the older versions uh, is often, is many times referred to as, as the Song of Solomon, uh, because some believe that Solomon is the author, or it was written for Solomon, or uh, during the time of Solomon's reign, but. To make a long story short, the uh, 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 book is a love point between a man and a woman. A a love a love uh, point. Uh, close that door. So, uh, therefore, my brothers uh, and, and, and sisters. Uh, when we look at uh, this text, when we look at this text, it is a uh, a love poem, and so uh, what we see in the words of uh, uh, of the text, we get uh, the, from this woman's expression, we knew that this woman in the text knew what love is all about. She knew what love is all about. And we can learn by taking a look at these verses what love is all, all, all about. Here in verse 6, uh, we want to tell you about that matchless love, the height of human love that expresses the goodness of God. First, uh, the, the, the love uh, is a sealed love. Uh, here in verse 6, and repeat after me, uh, she says, place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. Well, uh, as I told you, this is a, a love poem, uh, uh, primarily a human love coming from a woman. And what you find out about love at its height, it must be a sealed love. When, some, when it is sealed, that means it's, been, it's attached. But more importantly, it has been authenticated. You know, when you get something notarized, it's authenticated. And we need some authentic uh, love, my brothers and sisters. It's so much artificial love going around. Yeah, uh, so, uh, what we have to have that love that is sealed on the heart. We love the sealed on the heart. Oh, yes. Church, we will grow. And next, uh, you see in verse, continue in verse 6, say, For love is as strong as death, is jealousy unyielding as the grave. Well, you know, love, uh, a matchless love must be an inescapable love. So if you want to say love is strong, Stronger than death, but that means that you can't get around death. There's no way to get around death. Uh, we are concerned about uh, the uh, fitness centers open, going to the doctor, all that is good. But each one of us, we will not get around death because that's how strong uh, death is. But it's a, it's a, love is stronger than death. You know, our former family home when we lived in the community Easy Town is, is a block and a half up the street. And as I still ride by that home almost on a daily basis. The family no longer owns the home. But more times than not, when I look at the house, my eyes fall upon that front room to the right. And many times I stop and I talk to somebody because 
Man still lives next door. I don't say anything, but my mind and heart falls on that front room. And I say, that's where my grandmother died. 39 years ago, but it still hits just like yesterday. And so, uh, my brothers and sisters, she's gone, but I still experience the love that was shared. Because the love did not die with her. Oh, well, I'm just saying, it's an inescapable love that, that grabs hold to you and keep holding on to you. Well, when we go down and we look at verse 7, not only is the love inescapable, but repeat after me in verse 7, many waters cannot quench love. Rivers can I sweep it away? Amen. Amen. Uh, other words, uh, 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 it's raging. It's not. It's raging, but let me tell you this. A, a, a master's love is a love that burns with passion and compassion. Passion and compassion. Uh, we can be, become passionate in our emotions, but sometimes still treat folk in a kind of way because we have no compassion. Well, a master's love is both passion and compassion. And, and lastly, we say what, what, the, what the woman says in the text is, if one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. It would be utterly scorned. Otherwise, a master's love is priceless. Is a is, is priceless love. You, you you can't buy. You you you, you can't buy. It, it is priceless. More than silver and gold. Well, brothers and sisters, you can see that this woman did not text new new love. But uh, I, I'm here to tell you, uh, you can hear about matchless love. We can. Study on that about matchless love, but I want to tell you, you must practice matchless love to make a difference in this world. And that's what our, our mothers do. You must practice matchless love. See, knowing something and practicing it, two different things. That's why they say doctors practice medicine. You you never you never you say it all. I remember uh when my mother's doctor retired, uh, I took her to the doctor, and as many of you know, my, my mother's a mess. And uh, she's very humorous and very talkative. So the doctor told her he was retiring, and she went and took her, ooh, doctor, you retiring? And then after she got through with that, you know what the doctor said? Because she had been going to him for decades. She said, he said, I want to thank you for teaching me everything I know about medicine. Oh, uh, yes, my brothers and uh, uh, sisters. Uh, the, the doctor is just practicing because your lawyers just practice. Because uh, you're always learning. Uh, you practice after you, uh, you, you cry. The uh, Dr. Lee and uh, Dr. Mitchell, consummate musicians, but they still practice at the cab crowd because you never reach that height of, uh, of, of, of excellence. So what I'm here to tell you, you have to practice matchless love. Well, what you have to do well, when you practice matchless love, you have to reach for always to excel at the goodness and sacrificial love. Uh, is you must always be practicing to, to, that your heart is uh, is authenticated and, and sealed. Uh, you must keep the passion going and, and the compassion going and, and never sell out and never sell out for less important things. That's how you practice matchless love. And if you practice matchless love, this world will be a better place. Uh, our families will be stronger. All of our relationships uh, will be are stronger. But you know, it is the height of human love was expressed in these verses. And it is mostly expressed uh, 
in with a mother and a child. And mothers go beyond biological mothers. That part of that what God has breathed into the creative arm, that care, that concern, that creativity, that cohesiveness of keeping it all together. Uh, that is the, the love that we need. We have a ministry <clears throat> that reaches out once a month to the Louisiana State Prison and Angola. And it has been a blessing. Uh, the, the ministry is somewhere between 17 and 20 years old. Uh, and very faithful uh, members. Uh, at this time led by our assistant pastor, Reverend Sam Parker. And, and years ago, uh, at the outset of the uh, ministry, I uh, was so excited that one of the first candidates uh, that they baptized, the word was proclaimed that a gentleman, a brother who had been, uh, who was incarcerated for many, many years for some horrible crime. Accepted the Lord and Savior, uh, accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and was baptized by our Reverend Parker and probably in one of the, the deacons. Uh, sometime after that, I was talking to Reverend Parker, and he said, yeah, the brother is doing fine. But you know what he told me? He told me, he said, the most difficult thing I had to, to do this is what this brother who had been in prison for a long time, for horrible crimes. He said, the most difficult thing I had to do was to call my mother and say, I did everything they convicted me for. He said, that was the most difficult thing I had to do. Well, that is the end of the, the story. But that is not the end of the love. I don't know what that mother said. I don't know what, what the conversation was about. Uh, but if she is a mother like the mothers we knew, she didn't stop loving that son. She didn't stop loving that son when he kneeled down and confessed to her, when he opened up his heart to her child. She didn't stop loving him. I, I suspect that she had an idea either in her mind or in her heart. Or regardless when she verbally told him, she, she probably knew in her heart that he did all of that stuff, but she didn't stop loving him. Uh, she didn't stop supporting him. That is the high, highest height high of love that, to keep on holding on. But what, uh, what I'm getting at, uh, that's the height of that love because it is expression of the goodness of God. Uh, it is that love that's breathed into the creative order uh, by the one who is the ultimate love because the Bible says that God is love. Uh, and what I'm here to tell you uh, that you may be a long distance sometime. We are practicing uh, social distance. Uh, we are dealing with shutdowns. Uh, we are dealing with isolations. Uh, we uh, don't know what to say. Somebody here right now that may have been missing uh, something in your life uh, with regardless to your relationships. Uh, there's language barriers. Uh, there's we can treat you as the Lord. Uh, somebody, you may be holding on to, to some stuff. Uh, you're keeping it in your heart uh, and it's messing up the ceiling in your heart. Uh, I'm here to tell you uh, just like that uh, brother at Angola found out uh, that there is a, a matchless love. And, and what I'm here to tell you, uh, you cannot beat uh, God's love. Uh, you cannot beat God's love. Uh, it is uh, a matchless love. Uh, it is a uh, unrivaled love. Uh, it is a uh, unparalleled. Uh, it is uncomparable. How God loves us. Uh, so all you gotta do, uh, all you gotta do, uh, if you don't know what to say, uh, just say it's me, uh, it's me, oh Lord. Uh, I'm standing uh, in a need of a little love. Uh, if you can't get there, uh, don't worry. Uh, love, uh, God's love uh, will crawl up on you, uh, creep up on you. 
you, uh, if you don't know what to say, uh, just let your heart speak, uh, and the Lord will uh, take you in. Uh, you cannot be God's uh, love. Uh, God loves us uh, in the minute and the moments uh, of a pandemic. Uh, God loves us uh, when we don't know what to do. Uh, God loves you uh, when your future uh, is uncertain uh, because the Lord said, I will make a way somehow. So my brothers uh, and sisters, whatever is going on in your life, however you feel on this day, we have a matchless love in God's love. Human love Human love is the highly expressed in a mother's love. But just like I mentioned with my grandmother, mothers go, but love never goes. Love is always present because God created motherhood as a, to keep the concern in the creative order to keep the providential care moving in the creative order. The creativity and the cohesiveness. But just like that young man, African grandmother told him, go find and create. So we can continue the community and brothers and sisters, that's what we need to reach out to do today. We need to continue that love, regardless of your state. That mother's love that we receive. We need to express that love to those who are motherless. We need to express that love to those who are lonely, those who are homeless, those who are behind prison bars, those who are in school, uh, we need teachers and mentors. We need to express that love. We need to create that care, that concern, that creativity, that co that cohesiveness, and continue to be a cornerstone. Motherhood is an anchor institution in our communities. So we don't have time for fussing and fighting. We must be an expression of goodness, male and female. Because God breathed the breath of life into each and every one of us. Let us pray. Lord, wherever someone is seated this morning, in their home, in their bedrooms, in their cars, allow them to experience your expression of goodness in relationships. The Lord, and maybe there may be some something missing in their life. Just like the brother at the Louisiana State Penitentiary said, I've been ripping and running. I've been lying to others. But it's time for me to get right with the ultimate source of love. And Lord, show them that when they get right with you, that everything is all right. And this can be done by just, Lord, touch somebody and say, Lord, let them say, Lord, I want to give my life to you. That I, these blessings we ask in Jesus' name, amen. And wherever you are, within the sound of my voice, you just bow your head and say, I believe that God loves me so much that he gave his son. And I want to give my life to the Lord. And then I'm going to turn away. And you can contact me. You can contact the church. Say, I want to walk with the Lord. For God bless you and God keep you. We do want to reiterate um, the announcements that live stream Bible study on uh, 12 noon on uh, Wednesday. Streaming Bible study at 7 p.m. on uh, Wednesday. We want to do uh, apologize. We had some technical uh, difficulties uh, last Wednesday, uh, but we're going to keep on keeping on hoping that that has been uh, requested. Uh, 
that has been corrected. Uh, we do want to say that uh, next Sunday is Lord's Supper Sunday. We will do just as we did last Thursday Sunday, that we will virtually uh, administer the Lord's Supper. So please be prepared uh, with your bread, the juice, and nothing, whatever you're going to use for bread. Uh, and that we will do just as we do on third Sundays when we are in service. Also, uh, the governor will announce sometimes this week uh, about uh, opening uh, uh, or rescinding uh, the stay-at-home order. Uh, we do want to say, regardless of what the governor said, the earliest that we see uh, on returning to having service uh, here at Donaldson Capital is second Sunday in June. Why would we wait? Well, first, we want to hear what the governor say, and then we want to be able to plan, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be something with social distancing, uh, so we want to meet with folks and properly plan uh, how we will do this if the governor uh, opens uh, up uh, to be able to uh, have large gatherings. But one thing we don't want to do, we do not want to create a cluster or uh, a cloud of respiratory droplets uh, where we will uh, put people in position to contract the coronavirus. Uh, because our pews are close here, uh, we know the number we can properly social distance. Now, the word properly social distance, everybody not properly social distancing. Uh, so, uh, we, but we will say more uh, about that over the next or uh, two uh, Sundays. So again, we, 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 we thank you. We will, if the governor say open back up, we will open back up, but we just need to know how to do it uh, as an African American congregation, uh, as a, as a people who are being disproportionately uh, impacted by uh, this virus, so we want to we we uh, uh, as the governor said is it, is is not about our rights; it's about doing right. And so again, we will uh, let you know more uh, as as we learn more. So again, thank you, and God uh, bless you. And so let's uh, uh, ask the music ministry to come as we prepare. So let's say, let's say, give my church and let's say, Amen. Now, may the grace of God.